while I was uh, deployed in Iraq, um, I guess one night out of nowhere while I was sleeping, I ended up just having a grand mal seizure. From there, it just kind of just been advanced and uh, getting uh, hasn't been controlled too much. You know, he's he's able to just uh, uh, tell whenever there's a uh, a sign about to come around. You know, he's just able to let me know uh, with some of his uh, uh, warning signs that he gives me. And again, that's just from what they've taught here. Epilepsy, uh, you know, it's not the only thing I've developed through this. It's uh, a depression side I have as well that, uh, you know, really started uh, taking over because, you know, I can't really drive or work anymore and I just had a lot of goals in my life. Um, but, you know, he, he keeps me away from a lot of negatives, uh, you know, that I used to have before I had uh, Lamar. It's overwhelming. It just is overwhelming. I mean, in all regards, not just as, you know, Ed dealing with it, but as his mom watching him go through that. And, you know, to be truthful, Lamar is almost an asset to me as well. You know, it's like having that extra person in the room with you, even though it's a dog. <laughs>